There are load limits on roads that everybody has to obey. However, there should be load limits in the field as well. With the size of today's equipment and the amount of grain you can haul at any one time, random traffic all over the field is never a great idea, but it does happen all the time. So limiting the weight that you haul at any one time is a critical step to reducing or eliminating compaction. Then we look at tire inflation and tire selection. It's all about the pounds per square inch you're placing on the soil. It seems elementary, but it often gets forgotten. By reducing the air pressure in your tires, you increase the amount of square inches of tire that touch the soil, thereby spreading out the weight of your load even more and reducing compaction. Of course, switching to tracks or adding more tires can be a big help too. Finally, controlling the traffic patterns in the field makes your job of fixing compacted areas much easier. Brian and I visited a farm years ago where the operator said he tells his seasonal and full-time farm help that he will fire them on the spot if they ever even once turn a tractor around in the middle of his fields. The best farmers take the extra step of planning harvest out. They determine in advance where the trucks will be filled and how to get the grain from the combine to the trucks so everyone's on the same page and traffic patterns in the field can be minimized.